and, and very useful for our audience. Um, we understand, you know, the, I think the general technology services, you know, the, the, the hardware technology services and related, but you've got consulting in your title. Talk about yep. what your charter is, what the role of your organization is within EG. So, uh, as, you, uh, as you indicated, we belong to the enterprise group led by Dave Donatelli, uh, and we want to make sure that uh, any customer who buys a product or a solution from the enterprise group gets really satisfied about implementing that, that product or that solution. So we want to make sure that by delivering the best services possible close to the intellectual uh, uh, property uh, that we have, that we can make a success of the implementation of the products that are brought to market by the enterprise group. Okay, so, so but help us understand the services within EG. Yep. Uh, is there one group, there are, there are multiple groups, correct? So our consulting services, uh, as I mentioned, are really focused on uh, the enterprise group, that means that we focus on service, storage, and networking. And so we provide consulting services on data center consulting, on storage consulting and professional services, networking consulting, and professional services. So very aligned, very focused, because we want to make sure that around those enterprise group products, that we are the best in class, and that we can help the customer in any way possible. Okay, so tell Next, me. Sorry, okay, there's one please. thing that I would like to add. In our group, we also take care of the education services for HP and for the enterprise group. So that means that when a customer makes an implementation, that we do not only do the installation from a technology services point of view, we do the consulting services from my team, but we also deliver the appropriate training and education services. Okay, and that education, those services are, are specific to the products, correct? Yep. So, in fact, we do, uh, we do three things in, uh, in education. We give courses, trainings on how to use the products. Uh, then we want to make sure that we help people on how to manage a project in that area. But we also give them consulting on how to organize their IT department. Okay, so tell us, where do people need help these days? What's hot, what, what are people asking you for assistance on? Well, what we hear from customers, what we hear also from industry analysts is that when customers implement a, a product, without the services that they do not get to the full extent of the capabilities that the products offer. Meaning, so meaning they don't get the full value, obviously. They don't get right? the full yeah. value of it. The return on investment is not mm -hmm. optimal. And we believe that due to the focus that we have on service storage and network, that we gain experience and that we can share that experience with the customer so that they get up, uh, can get up and running faster, but using all the functionality of the gear that they have in house. Okay. So I'm going to ask about big data, because Meg Whitman talked about big data. That's obviously yep. a hot area, um, and security and, and big data. But let's take big data first. Hadoop has been a big um, interest area, and it's it's a lot of enterprises are kicking the tires. Some are actually putting into production, depending upon the vertical financial services, for instance. Very aggressive with big data. Um, what are you guys doing with your customers for big data? Because that's an area where there's awareness, there's a lot of active proof of concepts, um, Architectural challenges, where does Vertica fit in, autonomy, what do I buy for our converged systems? We had Tom Joyce on earlier, it's like, yeah, yeah. wow. I mean, just just even putting your arms around that's kind of blows yep. your mind. So Clearly. Uh, and so, uh, although I mentioned that our focus is extremely strong towards the enterprise group around service storage and networking, we also understand that our customers want to have a solutions approach. They want us to match the business needs they have with the portfolio that we have available. And clearly things like clouds, big data, mobility, and security are very important items to our customers. And so we want to make sure that we can help our customers in understanding what new opportunities big data can bring to grow their business or to make their business more flexible. So big data for us is really one of the components on which we want to consult our customers. Now when we do that, we always want to do that with an idea that infrastructure is going to be part of the solution and we are going to have that handle, uh, uh, that angle. Now clearly what we do not want to do is to come with a fragmented uh, approach to our customers. And so we understand that it's a combination of you know, the data that they want to access, so networking is important. You know, the way they want to store it, the way, the, the way, the way they want to store it, the way they want to uh, calculate it, but also the software that is available from our friends from the software team. And so the way we work there together is that when we have an overall uh, engagement with a customer, we fit their products and their services in the overall solution. But we always do that with 
you know, a total solution in mind, but we come from the infrastructure angle to the solution. So let's talk about the infrastructure angle, because that's kind of key, because it's, you know, they're all have their own products, but uh, again, Tom Joyce is now a general manager. Yep. He has to produce some revenue around cloud systems, cloud, cloud technology, which essentially package everything. It's basically packaging, in my opinion, um, and bringing that to the market channel partners as well. Um, are you going to be involved in that? How much work have you done with Tom Joyce? Um, and obviously, Star yep. has Star Geely has the, the the cloud, converged cloud, which is more more of outward yep. facing. But you know, Tom has to kind of package it, take a little bit from Bethany Mayer's group and networking, grab some stuff from David Scott and storage, and then bring in service from uh, Potter. So you know, again, and that's it one sounds of, easy, but it's not so that straightforward. And I think that's really where services and consulting services can play an important role. Because you know, customers are not looking for a product. They are not looking for a hardware product only. They are not looking for a software product only. They are looking for a solution. And to my opinion, you can build solutions by bringing products and services together in a meaningful way for the customer and linking it to the business needs uh, that we have. And so in the case of, uh, of big data, uh, what we want to do is we want to give them services around uh, strategy and architecture. We want our customers to know which is the data they want to use, where are going to find it, and how they are going to use it. Then we need to make sure that together with the group of Tom Joyce, that we can build the right infrastructure underneath it. And you know, it's even broader than uh, what you just brought uh, forward, because also the security element is becoming very, very element, uh, important, certainly when you talk about big data. And so we want to make sure that you are kind of the glue between what is coming from the software team, what is coming from Tom Joyce team, and then how we bring that together with the security opportunities that we have in the, in the customer. On security, what are the hottest things right now with security relative to consulting? What are customers uh, talking to you about? What are some of the conversations? So, uh, the, the caveat I want to make there is that the overall security approaches that are needed by uh, a customer are driven by our enterprise uh, uh, systems group uh, or by the enterprise services group. And so, uh, what we do is we look at security when it is really close to the server, to the storage, or to the network. As you already indicated, we have an extremely broad offering within the company, and I think it's really important to excel in a few elements and then bring it together. So security is really, really important, but we look at it, what does security mean from a storage point of view, from a network intrusion point of view, and from a computing point of view. How is uh, mobile fit into that? Uh, discourse that you just Well, uh, as I indicated uh, earlier, uh, despite the fact that we have such a strong focus on the product in, uh, in Enterprise Group from Dave Donatelli, we, uh, we look at the business uh, from a solutions point of view, what is important for our customers. Uh, and clearly, uh, mobility is extremely uh, important there. I think when you look at the show, you see everybody walking around uh, with their own devices, and clearly that's uh, something that is top of mind uh, of the CIO. And, and it's clearly something that we need to address in a different way. So next to the services that we offer around cloud, the services that we offer around big data, we also have a full set uh, of services around uh, mobility. And by the way, uh, we have uh, two experience workshops uh, in the show here where we advise our customers on how to approach uh, the uh, mobility topic. Uh, um, Jan, I want to ask you about uh, the, you know, you have a global role, uh, yep. right? So, I want to ask you about differences globally. Um, North America, Europe, probably pretty consistent, but maybe not. I'm curious as to your thoughts there and how the emerging regions, how are the demand for your services different, whether it's based on skill sets or priorities or yep. maybe an emerging company's governments really trying to you know, build infrastructure. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yep, uh, and maybe before tackling that, uh, uh, that question, um, I'm in a global role before, but I was in a regional role before. And before I was in the regional role, I always was in, uh, uh, in countries with customers. So okay. uh, it's nice to look uh, at uh, the portfolio uh, from a worldwide point of view, but it's also nice to look at it uh, from a, a field point of view, from a customer's point of view. Okay. And so to answer the question, I think there are a number of teams uh, that are common across the different regions. Uh, for example, when you talk around data center transformation, you see that happening everywhere. But within our data center consulting team, we also have a service that is called Critical Facility Services. And Critical Facility Services, there we help customers on building their new data centers. And clearly we see that there is a growing need on new data centers in uh, those growing countries. 
So it depends a little bit the maturity of the country, the maturity of IT in that country, the growth that you see on IT in that country on depending which services we deliver. That being said, what we try to do is to make sure that we have a very consistent portfolio that we can deploy across the globe. Because we serve a number of very large international customers. And I think one of the really unique things that HP can bring is that we can bring services in a very consistent way in all the countries where we operate. Whether it's from a support point of view, but also from a consulting point of view. And the way we do that, we try to have as much as possible local resources and we complement them with resources that come from third parties, our partners. And then we have a number of top-notch people, gurus, that we deploy on a worldwide basis. So a number of things are in common and a number of things can be very specific. And how about <clears throat> something like big data? I mean, do you see a lot of diversity in terms of the, the uptake and the, the requirement for your types of services? Does that vary widely by local region or yeah. you know, other so continents? Talk, talking about uh, big data, and by the way, I think you see that uh, in about every trend that you have I, uh, in IT, uh, you have an, a, phase, a phase where the new technology is emerging, uh, where people are interested to know what the opportunity is, then it's maturing, and then it becomes like uh, everybody is starting to use it. So, and I think we are in, in a phase where big data, people are getting curious what kind of solutions big data for them can bring. Uh, I also believe that customers see that the amount of data uh, they get uh, at their disposal is becoming enormous. One of the things that is really nice to see is that the better customers use the data that is available, data that is available you know, from their traditional databases uh, that comes from sensors, from machines, data that becomes available through the net. I mean, the better they use that data, the better their results are. And so it's really important, as I mentioned uh, uh, earlier on, that we understand and that we help customers to identify where the relevant data for them sits, how they can access it in a, in a, in a good way and how they can use it in a meaningful way to bring to the business so that they can grow the business with that. And I think customers see more and more the relevance of that. Johan, my last question is, um, information technology by its very nature is, is risky. Um, it's, a, it's a volatile industry and technology changes very fast. You've got information risk, you've got compliance issues. Uh, what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see customers making in that regard? How should they be mitigating them and how, is, how can HP help them? Well, uh, you know, I think it's something that uh, comes back in every wave uh, of IT. And, and I absolutely, I truly believe, and that's the reason why I like my job and why I think our team is so important. I think that one of the, you know, whether you talk about big data where we make important announcements today, or where you talk around, uh, around uh, cloud services, uh, where we make important announcements today, I think it's really important that we can sit together with customers and that we can tell them that through our services we can share experience with them so that they do not fall in a trap or that they do not make errors that someone else has made them before. And so one of the reasons how, or one of the ways we approach that is that in every technology that is new, whether it's big data, whether it's mobility, uh, whether it's uh, cloud, we organize what we call experience workshops. And in those experience workshops, we explain customers what the new technology, what the new opportunity is from cloud, from mobility, uh, from big data. And then from there, from that exploration phase, we can consult them, we can help them to design, we can help them to implement cloud services, we can help, help them to implement mobility solutions or big data solutions. So, to be very specific, I think the investment the customer makes in a service probably is going to have a very strong return on that. Johan de Scheifler, thank you for coming in and sharing your perspectives uh, on your global business. It was, uh, it was great to meet you and appreciate you coming to theCUBE. Thank you very much. Thanks for thank this Silicon Angle. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest here. Day two, live coverage from HP Discover, three days wall to wall, and we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. <laughs>